We all know that Washington is a fractious place these days. About the only thing that members of both parties can agree upon is, well, how little they can agree upon. But what if I told you that the economic well-being of 20 million Americans and trillions of dollars in the U.S. economy was being threatened by foreign theft? Wouldn't it be common sense for Congress to do everything in its power to stop that plunder before it costs even more American jobs? You'd think so, but the headlines tell us otherwise. Right now, Congress is considering the Stop Online Piracy Act, or SOPA, a piece of legislation that would crack down on foreign piracy of American intellectual property, a practice that costs the U.S. economy $360 billion a year. Allowing this theft to go on undeterred not only costs America money, it costs us creativity. The incentive to create great works of art or dramatic breakthroughs in science, like life-saving medications or the next great computer software program, only decreases if the nation's innovators fear they won't be compensated for their creations. Unfortunately, this bill's future has been jeopardized by unfounded allegations that it will damage internet freedom. Here at the Center for Individual Freedom, we take those charges seriously. That's why we have consistently opposed initiatives like net neutrality, efforts that actually would cripple freedom on the web. But SOPA isn't one of them. SOPA's critics allege that it will lead to overregulation of the internet, but its provisions attacking foreign piracy are already applied to domestic violations of intellectual property rights, and that hasn't made the internet any less free. This bill simply allows individuals who are having their innovation stolen to target foreign thieves. The critics also claim that SOPA will allow major corporations to shut down small websites at will, but that couldn't be further from the truth. SOPA protects the standard federal right to due process. It allows only judges to rule on violations of the law, and it explicitly protects the little guy by ensuring that compliance costs can't be disproportionately high and that loser pays rules are in place for frivolous lawsuits. Finally, some opponents claim that SOPA would inhibit free speech. We have a simple response to this ludicrous claim. That's only true if you consider outright theft something protected by the First Amendment. Over the past few decades, the growth of the internet has led to one of the greatest explosions of knowledge, wealth, and creativity that the world has ever seen. Passing the Stop Online Piracy Act will ensure that tradition continues well into the 21st century. That's this week's Freedom Minute.